kingdom building is about building people. So when you talk about building God's kingdom, uh, it's not about the, the physical structures. It's always about building people. Now the other important thing that we've emphasized a lot is that every believer is a minister. That means every one of us has a ministry. What are some lessons we can take away from things that God has done in the past? Take, for example, the tabernacle that God told Moses to put up in the wilderness. I mean, why would God want it? You know, He's God. He fills the heavens. He's spirit. He's, he's eternal. Why would He want something on the earth, a tabernacle? Why would He want a temple? Think about Solomon who built the temple. Why would He want it? And why would He want that to be rebuilt once it was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar? So He had Haggai and Zechariah, the prophets, encouraging God's people to rebuild that temple. Throughout history, God has used things, places, structures, methods, technology. He's used that for the purposes of his kingdom. It says here, David is speaking to Solomon. He says, consider now, for the Lord has chosen you to build a house for the sanctuary. Be strong and do it. Solomon, God's chosen you. Be strong and do it. Do it. Get the work done. Do it. What was David speaking to Solomon? And David said to his son, this is First Chronicles 28 verse 20, and David said to his son Solomon, be strong and have a good courage and do it. Do not fear, nor be dismayed for the Lord God. My God will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you until you have finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. This verse is a verse I want you to highlight Hold on to as we make this journey for the next four years. Be strong. Be of a good courage. Be courageous. And do it. Exodus chapter 40, verses 33 to 35, it says, And he raised up the court all around the tabernacle and the altar and hung up the screen of the court gate. So Moses finished the work. So the work was done. Then the cloud covered the tabernacle of meeting, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And Moses was not able to enter the tabernacle of meeting because the cloud rested above it, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. That means God kept his side of this whole thing. He said, you build a tabernacle so that I can dwell. I can keep my presence over there. So they did the work, and then God did his part. He released his presence and his glory into that tabernacle. So even as we build this facility that we are looking forward to, God will release his purposes through it, to impact our city, our nation, and even the nations of the world. So it says, Haggai chapter 2, verse 1 through 9. Verse 2, speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, to Joshua, the son of Jehoshadak, the high priest, and the remnant of the people, saying, Who is left among you who saw this temple in its former glory? Then how do you see it now in comparison with it? Is this not in your eyes as nothing? He says, look, you saw the temple when it was first built. Look at it now. Aren't you bothered? Aren't you affected by this? Is what he's saying. Verse 4. Yet now, be strong, Zerubbabel, says the Lord. Be strong, Joshua, son of Jehoshadak, the high priest. Be strong, all you people of the land, says the Lord. And work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. Again, similar to what... So David told Solomon, be strong and go to sleep. No. <laughs> be strong and work. Be strong and work. Because I am with you. And verse 29 once again says, the people brought a free will offering. This is completely your free will. Right? There is going to be no compulsion, no coercion, no forcing, nothing. Just your own free will. There is no comparison, nothing. You just do what's will, what you want to do willingly out of your heart. Do it cheerfully. And also keep this in mind as you do. Verse 14, David says in his prayer, But who am I and who are my people that we should be able to offer so willingly as this? For all things come from you, and of your own we have given you. So, Lord, all things come from you, and of your own we give to you. 